Hi guys, it's Musa Drafi here from Nens Health Kitchen. So today I'm going to show you how to make Atli Khichdi or Geda. This is a very nutritious uh, rice dish as you can use it when you're not feeling well, when you have a kind of weakness, you, you can't swallow the food, you have a dental problem or normally when, you, when it's a cold climate, the hot, hot, spicy Geda with ghee will really go very well. So all ingredients you need is Here I have two cups of rice. I've been using zira rice. If you have zira rice is available, you can easily make in zira rice. That will make your food more tasty. Or you can use the ordinary rice also. I'll be using two cup of zira rice. Uh, then I'll be using five to six cup of water for two cup of zira rice. As this is this will be a very soft rice, so you will be using more of water comparatively. You have soaked. Moong dal, uh, one cup, half a cup, or you can, according to your taste, you can make it one cup also. Moong dal. Here I have roughly chopped, not roughly chopped, finely chopped three onions, big onions, a medium size, three tomatoes, 12 to 13 strings of mint, that is pudina, two tablespoons of garlic paste, two tablespoons of ginger paste, roughly chopped chilies, according to your taste. My family takes a bit less of chili, so I'm using less chili. Salt, according to your taste. And oil for frying. That will be approximately a half a cup of oil or quarter cup of oil. It's better to use olive oil as it's rich in health, for a health purpose. Once you're on the cooker, you can start getting the fumes. Add oil. Oil. Once the oil is hot, you've got to add onions. We're not going to make this onion golden brown, nor we are going to keep it on uh, just the sweating stage. We will make it fill it till it light brown. Uh, once your onion is slightly golden brown, not uh, completely golden brown, add the ginger garlic paste. Ginger garlic paste is approximately 2 tablespoons. And uh, garlic paste is 2 tablespoons. Ginger paste is 2 tablespoons. Fry it nicely. Now, add the chopped chili. And it will give a really enhancing aroma. Then add tomatoes. Uh, once your once the tomatoes get mashed up, get tender rice, you mash up the tomatoes as they will leave its uh, taste. You mash all the tomatoes. Now we will be adding pudina. We won't put whole of pudina at once. We will put some now and some in the water. Uh, then some pudina, fry it nicely. And here I have soaked moong dal uh, for approximately four to five hours. I will be adding this whole of moong dal. And fry and cook for some time, not exactly fry, cook for some time. Once you find that your masala is catching at the bottom and you need to make it more, cook them more, just add a bit of water to avoid the mistake catching at the bottom. Now we will add salt, salt according to taste. Mix all the ingredients well. We will be adding water now as it's done well. And we will wait till the water boils. See guys, it looks so yummy. So once the water starts boiling, add the leftover pudina. Add the leftover pudina. And your soaked rice. Soaked rice. Close the lid. 
and keep it for one to two whistle. So once you put the rice, once you put the rice, just close the lid with the whistle for two to uh, one whistle, one to two whistle. And after that, I'll show you what to do. So guys, once the pressure is dropped down, open the cooker. Be careful while you open the cooker. See, it looks so yum yum. But the grains are full. So what you have got to do is take a masher. Mash the rice. Nicely. Because we are not going to leave the grains uh, full. As it won't bring up the good taste. If you want the grains full, you can leave it full. Or you can mash it up. As it always be mashed up. You mash it up nicely. It's very hot guys. You should be very careful. Once you have mashed it very nicely, then uh, we will be adding water to make this diluted according to uh, your taste. If you want a bit thick, you can keep it thick. If you want diluted, add more of water and cook again for 5 minutes. So here we have patli khichdi or the deda. I am serving it with uh, mint coconut chutney. To know how to make mint coconut chutney, you can uh, subscribe my videos or see my coconut chutney video. You will get it uh, on my website. So here you have hot, hot patli khichdi or geda. All for you. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe my videos. Bye bye.